we want to solve the given equations. The first equation is seven minus x equals 10. The solution is the value of x that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. To solve for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation. The first step is to isolate the x term by adding or subtracting. To undo the positive seven, we subtract seven on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, seven minus seven is equal to zero. The left side simplifies to negative x. On the right side, we have 10 minus seven, which is equal to three. So now we know negative x equals positive three, or if we want the opposite of x equals positive three, and therefore x is equal to negative three. But we can also think of negative x as negative one x, which means negative one times x, to undo the multiplication and solve for x we divide both sides of the equation by negative one. Simplifying, negative one divided by itself simplifies to one, one times x is x. We have x equals three divided by negative one, which is negative three. The solution to the equation is x equals negative three. But let's go ahead and check this by substituting negative three for x back into the original equation. Performing the substitution gives us seven minus, and then x, which is negative three, equals 10. Subtracting a negative is equivalent to adding a positive. Seven minus negative three is equivalent to seven plus three. Seven plus three is equal to 10. 10 equals 10 is true. Verifying the solution is correct. Next we have negative eight minus x equals negative 15. Again, to solve for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation. The first step is to isolate the x term by undoing the negative eight. To undo negative eight, we add eight to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, negative eight plus eight is zero. The left side simplifies to negative x or the opposite of x, which is equal to negative 15 plus eight, which is negative seven. We can read this as negative x equals negative seven, or the opposite of x equals negative seven, and therefore x equals positive seven, or once again, we can think of negative x as negative one x, which means negative one times x, and therefore to solve for x, we divide both sides by negative one. Simplifying it, negative one divided by itself simplifies to one, one times x is x, giving us x equals negative seven divided by negative one, which is positive seven. The solution to the equation is x equals seven, but again, let's go ahead and check this by making sure x equals seven does satisfy the original equation. Performing substitution back into the original equation, we have negative eight and then minus x, where x is seven, giving us minus seven equals negative 15. And negative eight minus seven is negative 15. Negative 15 equals negative 15 is true, verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.